So here I was yesterday, right on that bed, uh, scrolling on my Instagram feed, and I get fed a lot of tattoo content, and I saw a reel about this tattoo shop. And to say the type of tattoos that they were doing was interesting, to say the least, you know? And the comments were just dogging on them, and some of the tattoos they did, too, were just really wonky, let's say. And uh, yeah, today the tattoo shop in question is the hardcore dot uh, underscore dot tattoo shop. And before we get started, I want to establish I am not wanting any ill intent or any of you guys to just hate on this tattoo shop by any means. We're just going to be giving my honest opinion on this tattoo shop's tattoos and constructive criticism maybe, you know, and you know, because I, I don't want a defamatory uh, lawsuit case. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to give my honest opinions and let's get to it. But before we do that, uh, thank you so much for everyone who's subscribed to me. And we've hit 5,600 subscribers, which is insane. Hopefully, we can get to 6,000 by the end of the year. That would be awesome. But yeah, let's get to this. Oh, it's going to be really hard. I, I'm not saying all their tattoos are bad by any means, but uh, I, I wonder if I can pull up the... Okay, this is one I saw. This is one of the ones I saw right here. Oh, man. All right. Oh, okay. And I'm, I'm not going to put any music in this because, uh, yeah, copyright, but... Okay, so they got a gambling tattoo, and like the cards are crispy for sure. Like those look good. I just the chip right here. Uh, I think someone said, yeah, the, those poker chips look like spearmints. <laughs> uh, you tattooed over the crease. Yeah, that is pretty crazy that he tatted right over the crease. And like when he loses weight or expands his arm, that four is gonna have a gap. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. I I want to find the ones that I saw. Oh, dude, this one was wild. Look at this one, guys. Who would tattoo this? Oh, my God. Like, why? Okay. You know, granted, this could be that person's fault. And by that person, I mean the uh, client because they asked for this. But it, it doesn't look good. I'm sorry. I know that's really mean. Uh, it just, it looks like paint splatter. It doesn't really look like tears. And also, I don't, I don't like the concept of this at all. Um, let's see their uh, comment section. Stop ruining people's lives. That's me scrolling through your page right now. Okay, and again, I feel so bad, but like, come on, dude. Who's tattooing this? Like, let's not do this, guys. Someone needs to take your machine away, bro. I didn't get how this uh, account has 15,000 followers with these dog shit tattoos. Oh my God. Yeah, this is another one I saw. Um, I, will, I will say this one wasn't as bad as some of the other ones that we're gonna see later. Bro, this page is an archive of how not to tattoo. Yeah, I, I don't think this one is as bad though. I'll be honest. Um, okay, you gotta find a new career. These tattoos are not it. Yeah, I mean like this one compared to the other ones. So, so I'm gonna comment on it. It is not as bad and it is a fine tattoo. Like this one out of all the ones we've seen and we will see, this one is one of the better ones and I can see somebody getting this and being like, okay, this is not a bad, bad piece. It's not a great piece, but it's not a bad one. Um, all right, now let's get into some of the ones that I really like was like, oop. Oh, this one right here is one. Oh my God, I haven't, seen, I haven't even seen this one. Like what, dude, uh, POV full neck free, freestyle. They freestyled this. That's probably why. Um, <laughs> just, these tat this tattoo page has to be satire because these are so bad. Yeah, it, it just doesn't. Oh, this is so funny. At first glance, Little Mermaid. I could see that. Yeah, it's just not good, man. It's not good. And he also has a crazy fascination with eyes, I notice. Um like every sleeve or anything like that pov his first tattoo it always has an eye in it um this one isn't that bad though uh i don't think yeah it's not that bad this one this one i will say is much better than the other ones and but this comment is hilarious it'd be the dudes with money tattoos that always broke broke like he has a really big fascination for eyeballs um and they're never you jesus christ you generally suck at tattooing oh my god that is so mean uh if, it, if the tattoo is cheap, it's a red flag. That is the biggest lesson. Wow, the back does not look good. Um, yeah, the the eye is just not even. It's it's like crooked on the top, and then this end is not matching this end. It looks weird. And what is that? Is that a volcano? POV, you booked a tap out session. Oh my God. And like, let's see his price. So his price range is, is it very cheap, and that's probably why they look like this $250 is cheap for a full half sleeve but like oh boy all right let's look at some more of his stuff what is this okay scar cover up I haven't seen this one based on the comments it looks like this one's actually not that bad <laughs> well this one says 
How do, um, yeah, that's, I mean, is it okay to tattoo over scar skin? I don't know. I mean, this one isn't that bad. The butterflies look pretty good. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to dog on this one. This one's pretty um, de decent, I would say. Probably worth the money that you're paying because you're not paying for that much. I just can't believe this eyeball one. Yeah, he has such a big fascination for eyeballs. Like everything, all his sleeves have eyes. See, look, look, why do you keep adding eyes? I will say this one is the best eyeball we've seen. And this, you know what? This tattoo, not a bad tattoo. One of the first tattoos that is not god awful. Or I'm not gonna say god awful, but like shit. <laughs> I'm the worst. Please don't bring any hate to this, by the way, guys. I'm just, I'm just being honest on my opinions as an enthusiast of tattoos. It's crazy that like the new wave of tattoos with the red, uh, red and white kind of brought on with, um, like NBA players. A lot of NBA players made this like, like LaMelo ball. Also, also like what <laughs> another eyeball. What the fuck? He loves doing eyeballs. Yeah. This comment says you should stick to this. And that's kind of true. Like these, these tattoos, not too bad. Like the a fine line, it seems like he's okay. But when it comes to realism, he is just, it's not it, man. You booked a tap to set, uh, tap out session. All right, let's see this. Okay. Shaving her back. Normal customary. Okay. Right on the skin. Not even. Okay. Interesting. I'm assuming that's numbing cream, baby fat pause. Who the fuck would want this tattoo? And that wow okay that looks like a sticker i mean i i guess like if, if you're into this you know uh i will say it isn't straight that is someone yeah someone in the comments said that too uh it isn't because you see right here this part baby is straight but if you see where the fat is it's slightly to the left and then this part is on the cat is also crooked it's like a little bit slanted man see whenever he does small tattoos it's it's fine like, oh, wait. Oh, no, that's a cover-up. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, let's see the cover-up. I thought that he tattooed that. Uh, all right, let's see. Okay, some crosses. Dude, I love that it didn't even cover it up. <laughs> you can still see it. Uh, The redemption looks good, though. I would say the redemption looks good. Actually, this is a good tattoo. It just didn't cover it up. But this isn't bad. This one, by any means, like, he should stick to certain... Like, like look at this. This is cute. This is awesome. Like any like cartoon, I guess, and like fine line, stick to that, bro. Sometimes people just need to not accept money for everything. And if you're not good at a certain style of tattoos, just don't do it. Like if you're not an American traditional style and you're someone signs up for it, you can say no, bro. Um, wow. Never lose hope, but cross out the lose. So never hope. That's actually kind of depressing. Are you serious? Never hope. This is a full sleeve too. Nothing lasts forever. This is a really depressing tattoo. This isn't that bad though. I will say um, it just is really basic. Wait, skip nine o'clock and add it 13. Oh no. Wow. Wow. The new Roman numerals are all off. Not all, but some of them are off, bro. Oh my God. I just read this comment. The Roman numeral for four is not. Wow. He put four lines for four instead of the actual. Damn, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Literally never hope. Like, I thought it was going to be a good tattoo until I realized that everything is off in it. Dude, that's so fucked up. I mean, it could be the client's fault for even, you know, doing that, I guess. But the tattoo artist should say something. I want a half sleeve. Let's see this. Let's see how, uh, based on the comments, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good, but let's see. Okay, that, okay. What? What was the point of the little line thing? I'm confused. Okay. All right, putting a lot of stencils together. Okay. In concept, this could be cool. A lot of, like, calligraphy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dude, look at these flowers, bro. They look like a demigorgon in um, <laughs> Stranger Things. The butterflies aren't bad. Oh, the cursive is off, man. Dude, that's... I'm sorry, man. I feel so bad for shitting on this dude's tattoos because I know this is his career, but, like, come on, dude. Dial in a little bit more, brother. This dude's first tattoo is a face tattoo? What? Oh, this is a good tattoo. This one says, this is not your work. Stop the cap. Yeah, I mean, this is... This one looks good. Interesting. Who, get, who gets that as a first tattoo? Oh, no. Oh, no, bro. What the fuck? I think at first glance, you'll be like, oh, that's just a normal tattoo. No, look at the font on that. He has some that are uh, caps. Like the U and UH, right? And then all of a sudden the B is tiny and the L is huge. This reminds me of like MySpace days when you would like text like with like all that. Yeah. It's, what the fuck? 
literally this stay humble but like caps and uncap right pinky gone through some shit where's the right pinky oh yeah that is <sighs> that's tough 150 on that neck that's 150 dollars that that for the first time is way too expensive for a tattoo like that 150 dollars got me this actually not even uh, he charged me 120 my tattoo artist for this and this is like pretty decent work uh I'm, I'm actually gonna say this is amazing work it's one of my favorite tattoos that he's done on me kevin's uh underscore ink by the way that's my boy wow like this one looks interesting all right let's dive into this what a 250 dollars half sleeve looks like right off the bat the eye actually looks good for once and the butterflies look good the only thing i'll say is the fading on that is gonna suck but the lower face looks really bad like the where he put the spaces on this and then also he put white space on the nose and stuff it, it just looks really bad it looks like a fat person uh, what lessons cannot what what lessons cannot what are the comments blind this tattoo is nice the work really ain't that bad it's just weird yeah i agree i'm gonna say if we just covered the um this part it, it's a good tattoo this is one of his better tattoos but w i'm confused on what lessons cannot means um but yeah i mean just weird let's go to his early stuff let's see what the difference was there so he was doing 200 dollars half sleeves but it's crazy because the stuff that he would post also eyeballs again another eyeball eyeball um the pose that he would i mean the ones that he would post the stencil wise look much better than whenever he actually performs them which is kind of sad oh uh, let's see this all right 150 dollar hand tattoo yeah you see those uh those pinks butterflies that's gonna fade so fast especially on the skin tone and like the white dude that's that's gonna fade it's gonna be it's gonna be not blotted but it's just gonna look like color over time um also maybe even the uh the skeleton hand will fade very badly too because there's no like fine outline and it's not consistent either this one's outlined really well and then this one isn't outlined at all this is very interesting um this butterfly is probably the best part of this tattoo and even then eh, what the fuck is this oh okay you know what this looks much better than the other tattoos still not great though but uh much better it's so inconsistent like why do these flower this flower looks better than the demigorgon flower i mean this flower doesn't look good but interesting what the fuck i want to see like what stop pause okay i know somebody Okay, that's okay. What the fuck? That's the cover up? Oh, okay. Um, I mean, he covered it up this time. Nah, that's not that bad. For once, not awful. But who would get that penis on? Like, that's crazy. Insane to think about. Not the Justin Bieber tattoo. Patience. Oh, that's 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 a good tattoo. What the fuck? Did he do, like get worse over time? What? I'm confused. It's so inconsistent. Some things are good, some things are bad. Oh, I thought this was just the stencil for it. That's the actual tattoo interesting choice another eyeball fear none um yeah very inconsistent tattoos oh i want to see this one all right spider behind the ear classic tattoo bro this stop it this is he's not 18 oh oh it says he's 18 up here he does not look 18 my guy um yeah not a bad tattoo he needs to just stick to line work bro his line works are pretty good like i mean they're not like bad for the price, I'm sure they're fine. But the moment you get into any realism or any form of like legit tattoos, why, why, you know? What's this one? A chosen. Yeah, this one's probably gonna look good because he's he's pretty good with lines. See, perfect. Uh, I wouldn't say perfect, but fine. Mm, except for the end. The end is definitely blotted. But other than that, I'm gonna I'm gonna say compared to the other tattoos, this one's okay. I mean, for a hundred dollars is preposterous though. I would not pay a hundred. This is like a fifty dollar tattoo to me, but. Yeah, very inconsistent with pricing, I say. What an interesting tattoo shop. All right, I don't, I'm done ripping on this guy. I feel bad, but hey, you know, I'm just out here just sending a message out to those. Uh, if you guys want to get a tattoo with this guy, go for it. I think you should definitely stick to line work. Um, he's got good line work. It's just not good anything else. I would not get realism with someone that's only good at line work. And unless like they're practicing it and they're giving it to you for free maybe or something like that. But yeah, not a great tattoo. Actually, dude, I want to wait. I know I was going to close up the video, but I actually kind of want to see this one. This is his newest post. Okay. Great stencil. Stencil looks good. Oh my God. Oh no. 
Uh, not a great portrait. Uh, not the worst portrait, actually. Actually, I don't know. This is like a media. This is okay. It, I would. Eh. Actually, I don't know. Dude, I'm I'm now in a loophole. I was literally about to close up the video, but now I'm seeing all this new ones. How long do you think this took? I mean, depending on, <laughs> based on your work, like an hour. Crazy choice of a tattoo, by the way. Um, not th this one. Not that bad. Just really dumb choice of tattoo, but not that bad. Okay. There we go. Now we'll actually close up the video. Um, yeah. What a tattoo shop. Anyways, catch you guys in the next one. Bye.